Hi, I'm Leif Fixen. I'm a resource planner with the Snohomish Conservation District. Uh, I specialize in uh, soils, uh, soil fertility. I'm here to talk about soil testing uh, on your property, so whether it's a, an urban uh, backyard, or a horse property, or a thousand acre uh, you know, farm. It's pretty simple. Uh, you first want to identify how many uh, soil samples you need to send into the lab. Uh, once you figure that out, you, you want to collect 10 to 15 cores per sample, mix those together, uh, label your sample, and send it to the lab as quickly as you can. And one of the first steps when it comes to soil testing is figuring out how many samples you actually want to take. And, and what I mean by that is that, uh, say if you're living in town and you, you always fertilize your, your front yard to kind of show off the front lawn, but you don't fertilize the backyard, uh, and you're deciding that you want to put some fertilizer down on your backyard, well, you would want to test your front yard separate from your backyard, just because there's going to be a history of nutrients being applied to the front yard which aren't there in the backyard, so you're going to see very different test results typically. Uh, another reason uh, to test, uh, to take multiple samples is based off of soil type, and if you talk to your local conservation district or uh, uh, your local uh, ag extension office, they can help you figure out what type of soil you have on your property. When you're figuring out how many samples you want to take is uh, kind of the topography of your land. So uh, the top of a hill is going to have different nutrients than say at the bottom of a, of a hill or in a valley just because the, the rainwater is, will have washed nutrients and the soils will be a little different as you move down the slope. So once you figure out how many different tests you need to take, it, your next step is going to be actually going out and pulling samples. The easiest way to do that is with the soil probe, which I have here. And, and th these can be checked out actually at the Snohomish Conservation District. We have a number of these that we uh, uh, loan out to cooperators to go out and do soil testing. You can also use a, a spade. And the, tree with, the trick with a spade is that you want to dig a hole and then shave off a thin slice of the actual soil profile. You don't want to just go and take a scoop. And so you're going to take 10, 10 or 15 cores it refers to the, essentially the, the, the core that comes out of your soil probe, dump them into a bucket, and then after you get 10 or 15 spread sporadically across your field, you're going to mix all those cores together and then pull about a two cup sample that you're either going to put in a Ziploc bag or, uh, or a bag from one of your local uh, uh, soil testing labs and, and mail it into the lab. Now here's the important part. If you can't get that in the mail the same day, either store the sample in your fridge or put it in your freezer because what will happen is that the, the nutrients, especially the nitrogen levels, can change as the soils heat up. So after we get our sample into our bag that we're going to send into the lab, it's important to label each sample and what you want to do is you want to put your, your name on there, typically your address, a phone number, and then the name of the field. Uh, a common mistake for, for a, a landowner is to na name their fields uh, kind of chronologically or numerically. So, you know, that's field one or pasture one, that's pasture two. Uh, we want to we discourage people from doing that because what ends up happening is 10 years from now when you're retesting your fields, you forget which field is field number one. So you always want to try a, a, tie a, a geographic location to it. So it's the northwest pasture or it's the pasture south of the barn or uh, it's the front yard or it's the backyard You're both looking for, uh, you know, what nutrients we want to test for, uh, what soil conditions, what uh, soil health, you know, indicators we want to look at. So primarily what most people take soil tests for is looking at your macronutrients, which are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, uh, your organic matter, uh, your soil pH. Uh, typically here on, in western Washington, our soils are pretty acidic, so uh, it, that's an important uh, uh, Thing to look at uh, and you also look at some of your micronutrients and, and those packages can vary depending on what you're wanting to grow or what your your ultimate goals are uh, with your nutrient management plan.